guys, we just got done with the gym. Mm, yeah. Starting the day off right. I, right. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little hard getting up this morning. <laughs> it was I did a little. Not sleep well last night. Neither did I. <laughs> and I, I think it's because I ate kind of later. I don't know. Yeah. Is that, does that ever happen to any of you when you're sleeping? <laughs> snacking a little bit. <laughs> yeah, maybe snacking a little bit. But speaking of snacks, you guys, hey. So a lot of you guys actually turned us on to this company. Yes. A lot of you said we needed to check out Thrive Market when Jared got diagnosed with EOE. And mm -hmm. I had heard a lot about Thrive, but we had never tried them before. And let's just say this is our second order with them. So for any of you that are kind of like the game like we were, <laughs> if you don't know what Thrive Market is, so it's an online membership-based grocery store. So they only offer like the highest ingredients. They have over a thousand ingredients that they restrict. They won't even allow any of the food on their site. So you know you're getting really high quality food, but it's also affordable as well with how they, they have it structured. So for example, you guys know we love Lester <laughs> Evil. We've been eating this for I love years. popcorn, it's my little weakness. Obviously with us having to stay away from a lot of allergies, that is my biggest reason why yeah. I will scream it from the rooftop mm -hmm. is because going on there, you can filter by allergies. How cool yeah, is that? That's awesome. So like literally like these ones. This one's perfect actually. Yeah, I want Jared one. to taste these. I haven't seen any that have little sprinkles before. Let's see what the... I actually taste really Are good. Are they good? I gotta taste ah. it. Let's see. I mean for a cookie that it tastes just like a cookie. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. It is so hard to find things like that, especially if you don't live near like grocery stores that provide products like this. This comes right to your door, which is so easy. Oh yeah, did you see this one? It's the All About Elote popcorn. I did want to try this one. That's the new one that we want to try. But yes, we're ordering that. They also have staples. You guys know we love our chomps, so I ordered some chomps. That's like on repeat, which is great. Oh yeah, look at that Elote. Yeah, and this is allergy free too. Is it good? It's really good. Oh, you guys, I love everything a little taste. Look at me. It's really, really good. Oh, that might be one of my new favorites. Look at this mango coconut fruit bite. I feel like these will be a good snack you like. Oh, yeah. So good. That's really good, yeah. So we have partnered with Thrive today, and they are offering all of our followers an amazing discount. So if you click the link in our description below or you go to Thrive Market forward slash Jared and Britt, you'll get 30% off your first order plus a free gift up to $60 worth in value. So awesome, go check out their site, but I think this is such a great service and we are huge fans of it, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Finn and I decided to come out for a quick little bathroom break. <laughs> we're not gonna do a super long walk home because we're about to go on a walk later with the girls, which they absolutely love going on walks with Finn. <laughs> Look at him, he's just sticking his nose up, I love it. But I have to say real quick, I am so beyond excited that you guys are excited about my mom coming out. Thank you guys for being so excited with us. She's so excited to come out, oh my gosh. Like we have this little text thread between the three of us. And in that text thread, we've been texting back and forth the weather that she's gonna have while she's here and the weather that they are gonna have like out in Utah. And she's just so beyond thrilled because the weather here is gonna be like in the 80s and she cannot wait to just come hang out, chill, relax. We're gonna definitely go take her to some new places that we've discovered since she's last been here. So that's gonna be a lot of fun for her. Plus she hasn't been here since Michelle and Nate and their family moved here. So she's gonna go see their apartment for the first time, which is gonna be really cool. She's gonna see their view. Now remember that first morning that she's here, she's gonna be pretty darn exhausted. So we're probably just gonna keep it chill that day. Maybe see the sunrise if she gets in early enough. But if this trip is anything like last trip, she's gonna wanna see the sunrise and then go straight to the pool and just sit back, relax and sleep. <laughs> which we have no problem with. That sounds amazing. All right, guys, I just pulled up to the doctor's office. Just got here. My appointment starts pretty soon. However, I'm not like too keen on getting in very quickly just because last, last few times I came here, 
I waited for about two hours before I was even seen. So I'm not really in any rush to get in right now. Oh, in case you're wondering the chairs, we had these originally in the back, but then we had to move them to the front. Anyways, anyways I got to move them back into our apartment. But the reason I'm here at this place is because the doctor's office is because I was having issues with my nose, like right here. Like I was getting like sinusitis, is that what it's called? Uh, basically all the time. Like it basically, it seemed like ever since my emergency endoscopy where they, you know, did a little slight perforation of my esophagus, it feels like I've been sick pretty much nonstop since then. And it's been extremely frustrating and annoying, but I don't know if it's like connected at all. And so I've been, you know, on antibiotics and it goes away, then it comes back and then it goes away and comes back, yada, yada, yada. Funny thing is this, it's actually pretty hot out today, but inside of this doctor's office, I'm not kidding you guys, it is so freezing cold. I feel like they have the AC set to like negative 32. It is like maddening how cold it is. So I got with me a hoodie and my down jacket. <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing both of them inside of there just so I can stay warm, I admit. And I also brought with me my Bluetooth headphones just because I know how long they take. And so I'm hoping like crazy that's not the case this time, but anyway, we'll find out. But anyway, like I was saying, I was on these different types of antibiotics and I kind of found out like after I came here finally to this ENT, you know, like a specialist, and they were basically telling me that, like, oh, those aren't good for like what when you're trying to get like the nasal stuff, you know? And anyway, so they put me on like, I don't even know how many others, like a ton more other ones. And I took them every single day. This was back in August and I was taking that stuff and it was making a huge difference. And like to the point that I felt like completely normal again. So that made me feel really good. And I was supposed to have a follow-up in early October. You know, obviously we weren't able to do that. So I'm just now getting to do the follow-up. So I'm gonna go in and figure out what's going on. Service is definitely extremely slow. Mm. So, hoping it's not all for nothing. We shall see. Well, just got in here. About to have me do an x-ray on this little guy. That should be a little fun, huh? They got me in here now, about to do a CT scan to basically see what's going on with my sinuses. So they just put this little vest on me, had me sit back in here, got to put these things in between the sides of my head. And they said the doctor's gonna be in here soon to press the button and I guess get the CT scan going and figure out what's going on. Hopefully we'll have a better idea of why my nose keeps getting stuffy all the time. At first I thought it was allergies, like I was saying, but now I'm thinking maybe it's something else. I don't know, I guess we'll see because I've done a lot of work on, you know, preparing for like allergies, I guess you could say. Like at first I thought it was dust mites, so we cleaned out our place like really well. And then we even got like, you know, like special pillowcases for me and all that stuff. And so I haven't been having nearly as many sy as symptoms, which is a really good thing. I might have noticed my nose is a lot more clear, but it's still stuffy from time to time. And so, um, especially with that post-nasal drip, I just wanna make sure that like all of it is like cleared up and like it's nothing, you know, more severe or anything like that. So that's why they're doing the CT scan now. And hopefully it's just quick and simple. I'm so tired of being in and out of doctor's offices. It's so annoying. <laughs> But um, yeah, hopefully we can get it all squared away. All right guys, just finished up. It took way longer than I anticipated. I was in there for a solid three hours. And uh, yeah, but on the bright side, it sounds like I don't have anything, you know, super wrong with me. In fact, she said I was like totally in the clear, the whole CAT scan thing that I thought I was gonna have to do. She sat me down 
And she's just like, yeah, actually, I don't think you need this. So, <laughs> uh, it's just funny. I was in there literally for such a long time, going back and forth, especially about the whole CAT scan thing. And anyways, just come to find out, I don't even need it. So that is a huge plus because it does save me some money. And then on the flip side, um, she did like another like nasal endoscopy type thing. So she said that my whole nasal endoscopy thing that she did came back perfect, which is super fantastic news because I was a little bit nervous that it was gonna come back something negative. And I was talking to her a little bit just about um, just the fact that I'm still having like issues with my nose. Like I can still feel like a little congested. Sometimes I have like post nasal drip, you know, uh, other times I feel a little bit of pressure. Like if I lay on my left side versus my right side, I can feel it like kind of drain to that side. And she was saying that it actually might be because of my EOE diagnosis. And she's thinking that might be the case because she said that uh, EOE can actually affect like your congestion, like especially like right here. Like if she's like, cause I was telling her I was eating like congestion, like I was coughing on like, you know, it felt like mucus in my throat. And she said, anything that's right there is caused from down here. And so she told me a bunch of like, kind of like different things. She was saying like, maybe I should get like allergy tested again. Or, and I told her I'd already done it once before. And she said, well, maybe we'll try to get the release from that allergist and try to figure out what's going on from there. And she thinks it might be like one of two things um, and possibly a combination of two, who knows? I don't know. She said though, like if you're feeling better, like keep doing like what you're doing because clearly it's working. And, but the one or two things is that she said one of them, it could be the EOE thing. So if it is the EOE, like, um, and I was telling her I was doing the six food elimination diet. So I haven't eaten any of that stuff and I've been super good and all that. And she said, you know, it can actually be caused by other things too, like EOE can be activated or like, not activated, but uh, like triggered, I guess you could say, from like other factors, like in environmental factors. So like whether it's like pet dander or like dust mites or seasonal al allergies, like whatever the case may be, um, they can be triggered by other things other than food. And so I was just like, oh man, like this EOU thing is like a total guessing game, which I have learned and, you know, I've talked with a bunch of people about before. But anyways, so the fact that it could potentially be that, it makes me a little bit better just because um, she said the solution there is something that they call a dupixent. It's like a medicine that you can take. And essentially that can help out with basically everything. She's kind of hoping it was kind of like kill two birds with one stone type mentality. And this, because she was saying that it'll help out with your EOE, so you won't have any troubles with like your esophagus stuff, but it also helps out with like allergies as well. And what she says that she thinks that I'm experiencing. So she thinks it's either that, um, which I'm hoping that, well, I'm hoping it's nothing and I can just be healthy. <laughs> but if I have to choose between one of the two, I'm hoping it's that first one. And then the second one, she says that it could just be like, you know, I just have like troubles with sinus infections. and. And unless I do like a nasal rinse and like Flonase basically the rest of my life, um, I'm gonna be experiencing these types of issues, you know, over and over and over again. So, uh, yeah, I was telling her that when I work out or cardio or do anything that kind of like gets my heart racing, I do notice that like my whole like nasal, like congestion, it just completely clears away and I feel totally fine, I can breathe easy, and it's just not an issue. But it's kinda like when I'm dormant, I guess you could say, like I'm just not very active, that's when it kinda gets worse. And I was telling her that like, since I've been doing the whole nasal rinse thing, it's gotten better. Um, I've stopped doing the flow nasal things because I told her that it was actually, I could feel better without it. And I know that like sometimes if you take too much of Flonase, it can lead to other issues. I just didn't want to get down that path. I'm not like a huge fan of taking medicine. I just like, especially like if it's like something more than like, you know, something you have to have like a prescription for, which I know Flonase you don't have to, but anyways, like I just not a fan of like taking something more than like just simple ibuprofen just because I don't want to have my body get dependent on those things. Um, but at the same time, if my body 
isn't reacting like a normal person's body would, then I probably should get on these things. So she was also telling me this other thing. I'm curious if any of you guys have heard about this before, but she was telling me about this thing where you can do desens... I can't even pronounce the word, but you basically desensitize your body from allergies. And she said it's like a weekly shot. It takes about a year to a year and a half. And you just come in every week, they give you a shot. And basically it just kind of like teaches your immune system to not be triggered by things that a regular person wouldn't be triggered by which is really cool you know if in theory if i think about it because it's like if my immune system could be that of a normal person like i would love that you know not have to do like the nasal ridge stuff every single day for the rest of my life but on the flip side like if that's just like another i feel like another rabbit hole of doctors offices and appointments and money and all that other stuff that's not gonna really solve anything in the end because that's what it feels like it's been up to <laughs> up to this point you know obviously i don't want to go down that road um anyway so lots of stuff to think about but yeah i'm just grateful it wasn't anything worse that was like my biggest fear going into this is that she's gonna say like oh like yep i can still see you got you know issues with your sciences like we're gonna have to do like a ct scan we're gonna have to get you on this that and the other so that was definitely my worry However, everything came back clear, everything came back negative, everything came back just perfect. She says I look totally healthy. So I think I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. They did say that they're gonna have their allergists reach out to the person that originally did my allergy testing and get the release for that to figure out if that's even something like what the option could be, you know, like going down the road of getting the desensitization of uh, allergy. So, um, not like I'm committing to that, but just like kind of get an idea of like how much it would be, like, you know, the whole synopsis, all that stuff. The other thing is that she told me to keep up on the nasal rinse thing, Flonase, if she thinks I need it. And then she, this is interesting. She said, maybe even take Prilosec, which is used for like stomach uh, stuff. She's like, if you're getting congestion here in your throat, that's caused again by, you know, something down here. And so she said, if you take that, that should help out with this whole thing. And she was just saying like, if that improves it and you don't have the congestion anymore, then the issue is with your stomach, not with, um, not with like the nasal area. So anyway, a lot to think about, a lot of testing and, you know, trial and error that I'm having to do to figure out what's going on. And it's, it's all new, you know, this last, year and a half has just been a lot of medical stuff back and forth for me basically ever since my uh my micro tessie about two years ago yeah i've just been in and out of doctor's offices like crazy and i would love absolutely love to not go anymore <laughs> but is what it is so hopefully we get it all figured out uh, it is actually getting kind of hot, so I can finally take off this. I have to dress so warm when I go in there because it's so cold. Ah, oh, man, we'll get it all figured out, guys. Show Uncle Jared! Oh my gosh. Oh, you don't want him to get the flower? Okay, that's fair. Show Uncle Jared though. 
Can I see? Can I smell? Oh, can Brady smell, Nora? <coughs> Nora, can Brady smell? Let me see. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. <coughs> oh, do you want a flower? Oh, Give me a minute, look. Oh, Brady. Here you go. Oh, smell it. Can you smell it? Mmm. <laughs> She's so cute. Let's keep going. Bye bye. Say bye bye, flowers. Alice, say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, you. You got your flowers. Oh, it smells so good. How cute is she? Oh my gosh. All right, we're on a little walk right now with the girls and Finn. Looking for lizards. Oh, oh, there they all go, Nora. Oh, they're all behind you. They tricked us. Is they each found a little flower on the ground. No, Madeline, let me see your flower. Oh, is that Nora's flower? It's beautiful, Nora. Let me see. Oh, can you smell it? <laughs> so cute. You see any, Nora? Oh, I see one over here. Oh, they're everywhere. Do you see the lizard, Madeline? Good job! Did you guys see one? Yeah. We oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's keep going. You saw one flying in the air? Crazy. See! <laughs> with wings? A lizard with wings. Got your flower, Madeline. All right, we got the kids up there. Finn's a little tuckered out. He's riding in the stroller. <laughs> Let's go, go get Jared.